guys, this first superset, we are going to start with a barbell hip thrust drop set. So I want the band above your knees. We are going to perform the 10, 10, 10 barbell hip thrust drop set. So it's 10 reps at each load for a total of 30 reps. Each progressive set gets lighter, so you take a plate off. So with the barbell hip thrust, I want full lockout, posterior pelvic tilt at the top, chins tucked, looking forward the entire time. So you're gonna hit 10 strong reps at your heaviest weight. Then we're gonna do a drop set. You're gonna take one plate off. Ideally, you wanna have a partner to help you make these transitions quick. So I challenge you to ask another member or a staff member or someone that you're training with to help you with these. And then you go immediately into your next set. Again, 10 reps here. And then you have a final set of 10. Again, quick transitions. I want you to push these near or to failure. You should feel an absolute glute burn by the final set. Once you are done with these, I want you to rest a ton, a few minutes, and then you'll perform it one more time. Superset, we are going to start with a barbell Romanian deadlift. So with Romanian deadlift, I want your stance about hip width apart, hands are right outside your legs, strong lats. With the Romanian deadlift, you have little knee flexion. Movement is initiated through the hips, so hips are reaching back, little knee flexion here, you're feeling a ton of hamstring stretch. So shoulders back, strong lats, pull the barbell straight up. Hips reach back, little knee flexion. Take the barbell as low as you can go, maintaining a nice neutral spine. Pull it back up. A lot of you will only take the barbell right below knee. That's okay, feel the hamstring stretch. Pull it back up. Hips reach back, straight back up. We're gonna go for eight reps here. Nice controlled tempo, all hamstrings. Once you are done with those eight reps there, grab your band and a bench. We are gonna superset these with some body weight banded hip thrust work. So we're gonna start B stance. So working leg toe is in line with stabilizing foot heel. Drive your knees out the whole time. 20 reps. Switch legs. 20 reps, other leg. And then you're immediately gonna go into 20 reps, both legs. Keep those knees out the whole time. Feel the glutes work. last superset, we are going to do a kettlebell swing. So if you are not ready to do a kettlebell swing yet, you haven't mastered your hip hinge, I want you to just do a kettlebell sumo deadlift. So a kettlebell sumo deadlift, you start directly over top of the kettlebell, hips reach back, pull the kettlebell straight up. Mastering your hip hinge here. Now if you are ready to do a kettlebell swing, with the kettlebell swing, you always start with the kettlebell out in front of you on the floor. Hips are back, little knee flexion. Remember, this is a hip hinge, not a squat. Okay. So hips back, little knee bend. Bring the kettlebell into your crotch and be explosive through the hips. As you lock out, pull your hips in to a posterior pelvic tilt. So none of that archy back. I want posterior pelvic tilt, pick your head up at the lockout to make sure you fully lock out your hips. 
Nice neutral head throughout. We're gonna go for 15 reps. You should feel all hamstrings and glutes there. Master form before you start increasing weight. Once you are done with those, we are gonna superset these with a banded barbell glute bridge variation. So band above your knees. I want your head on the BOSU ball to keep your chin tucked and to prevent hyperextension of your lumbar spine. So just your head's on the ball, not your shoulders or your back. Just your head, so chin stays tucked. We are gonna do 20 dead stop reps. So you bridge it up, post to your pelvic tilt, down for a dead stop, that's one. So 20 dead stop reps, immediately into 20 constant tension reps. Where you don't tap the plates to the floor, keep constant tension, burn out your butt, keep driving your knees out. 20 of each, total of 40. 